Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Who is here for the first time? Let me introduce myself. My name is Sophie and I'm studying in China. My major is computer science and engineering, but actually <laughs> I don't have a major yet uh, because in my university system is a little bit different. It's similar to the US universities. So I don't have a major yet. Today we would continue to learn special words for computer science and engineering. It's also suitable for math. And these words also quite useful in the all technical majors. So if you would study in China or you would translate some technical text, this lecture would be very useful to you. We also have done some similar lectures previously. If you haven't watched it yet, please go back to my channel and watch my previous videos and then come back to this one. Okay, let's get started. So these are 19 words for today and we would listen them now. Kongbuti 构造函数、班级、种类、分类、功能、函数、运行、起作用、垃圾回收、方法、办法、调理、种类、样子、分类、排序、都是命令、数据排序、不定的、可变的、平等、同等。像类型原始的原始人功能函数运行起作用垃圾回收方法办法调理种类样子分类排序都是命令数据排序不定的可变的平等同等。Okay, and now we will talk about the word 对象类型. Uh, this word means like object type. So you can think about some different objects what type they can have, like what form, what shape, how it should look like. And now I would play a video for you. And on this video, you can see different objects. So here are some bottles, some boxes, some something else, <laughs> different kind of garbage so think about it as different object look at this picture very carefully you can count how many objects are here what shape are they uh, what colors are they how they look like so you would memorize the word so and you would like to describe different objects next time Try to use word 对象类型 and we can think together now about some sentence that here are a lot of different objects, types of objects, yeah? So we would say here are a lot of 对象类型, yes? So remember 对象类型. Okay, and let's move on to our next word. Our next word is we can think about some yen in the way fu xin de qian de yi shu jia yen shi de yen shi de ren wen yin fu xin qian de yi shu jia 
This means primitive. So primitive in Chinese is 原始 and if it's a noun, it would be 原始人 So adjective is 原始的 and noun is 原始人 and 原始 So it's some artist before the Renaissance. Renaissance is a one of、uh, epochs in art. So on this video, you can see a guy. He's sitting and on the sofa and playing his PC. You can say that he's very primitive. He doesn't wear some fashion suit. He doesn't look very attractive from my perspective.、Uh, but actually, this kind of way how we all working out from home during the coronavirus time. So I think we are now some kind of. We are Yuan Shi Ren, so we are very primitive. I、uh, think about it, look at this guy, and remember the word Yuan Shi Da. Yuan Shi Da. He is very Yuan Shi Da. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Click on the button below on the bottom subscribe, and write the comment down. Write what you understand, what you don't understand. Do you have any issues with this lesson and? Do you have any other topic in Chinese language that you would like to discuss that you have troubles with in your university? So we would solve your issue, and you can also try to use these words and try to make five sentences with these words and write them down in these comments, and I would reply on each of them. Our next word is 未经意的未经意的 means undefined. So this guy that is working on the street, he is looking undefined. So you can say that he is looking 未经意的 Um, he is looking 未经意的 So remember the word 未经意的 and use it next time in your conversation and in the sentences that you can write down in the comments. 未经意的 Quite often in programming and in math, we use the word now. Now in Chinese is 无效的 And kung, so remember the word wu xiao de and kung. Um, next time you can use this word, uh, and you can mat it in your exercises and exam. So this word is very 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 important. Write it down and try to use it. Try to use all these words as much as possible. Next word is object. Noun is wu qi. Or we can say 目标方对方对 is a word, so this word is also very useful in programming. And we can look at these objects and we can call them 物体 Or we can say here a lot of 物体 or 目标 Or we can say the verb 方对 here a lot of 物体 Next word is word global. How to say global is 全球的 So remember the word 全球的 and 全球的 and these two words means global. Our next word is 数组 that means array, array of numbers. You can see it in the probability and statistics, in the programming and in mathematics. 数组 and our transition verb is 排列 and 部署排列 And 部署 so 排列 actually means arrangement, and 部署 means deployment. Our next word is value. Look at this money and think about how valuable are they for you. Is it a lot or it just like a few? So value in Chinese is 价值 You also can say 重要性 and、uh, our transition verb verb would be 评价 or 评估 So Remember the word 价值 that is the most commonly used word in Chinese when we think about value, and the in actually 重要性 means importance, and 评价 is evaluation, and 评估 is also evaluation. So they are very similar. But the most important word is of course 价值 that is. Value. The most commonly used word in Chinese variable in math. It's 
you would see a lot of variables. So variable in Chinese is 可变的 or 变量. Remember the word 变量. 变量 is noun, variable. And adjective is 可变的. Continue in Chinese is 继续 or 连续. So you think about how you continue to do something. You continue to write the same word. You continue to write your homework. So you 继续 write your homework. You 连续 write the same word every time. You 继续 to study Chinese. You are 连续 to think about the translation of this word. Remember these words and use them. Create several sentences with the words 继续 and 连续 and write them down in the comments and we will correct them. Our next word is break. Break in Chinese is 中断. You also can say 打破 or 弄坏. When you break something, like you break this orange into two pieces. You actually don't break it, but you can think as you break it. Uh, I haven't found the right picture or video for that, so I put this orange because it's like kind of broken. So next word is constructor. Constructor in Chinese is 建造者, or you also can say 构造函数. 函数 we learned in our previous video. If you don't remember what is 函数, 函数 means function. You can come back to our previous video and watch it again. So you can think you're constructing something, so you can say 建造者. Uh, our next word is class. It can be class in programming, it also can be a real normal class. A normal class is like banji. Uh, you can use it in different context. Also you can say zhonglei and our transition verb would be fenlei. So when you come to the class you can say you're going to the banji. Also it can be like class in your university, you also, it, it also would be like banji or zhonglei. So just Use them as often, as much often as you can. And our next word is also function. Um, function can be 功能, it also can be 行数. So 功能 is kind of function that you use like when you're describing uh, some features of the objects. Like in programming you can tell how many functions uh, this object can do. And 行数 is more like mathematical function. It's kind of to mass relate. And 功能 is more about uh, functions, like some features, something that object can do. Uh, different type of functions. And you also can say transition word 原心 and 起作用. 起作用 and 原心. Our next word is garbage collection. Garbage collection is 垃圾回收. 垃圾回收. 垃圾 means garbage. Collection is 回收. So next word is method. Method in Chinese is 方法 or 方法 or 调理. Uh, so the word 方法 uh, is quite used. Like you can see it a lot, and also bang fa uh, too. And uh, next word is sort. Sort is related to programming, and sort is zhong lei. Also, you can say yan zi, and uh, you can say fen lei. Uh, but fen lei is like a word that you're sorting something. So on the, this picture, you can see that you like sort these pieces of meat. <laughs> you actually don't sort them, but you can think like that. Um, also, you can say pai xu or dos ming ling or shu ju pai xu. Yeah, so it's like related to the shu ju pai xu, and uh, uh, you can try to write a sentence and use this sort word like zhong lei or yan zi uh, in it. Mutable, mutable, that you can like change something, so mutable. Um, 可变的, um, 可变的 is like adjective, uh, so we also use it a lot. Equality, equality, like you're equal. I put the video here, and there is a protest, like not protest, like kind of meeting. They're like they want everybody to be equal, so equality, 平等 or 同等, uh, 平等 or 同等 is equality. Guys, don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you then, and watch my next videos and put the thumbs up thank you for watching it till the end we made it <laughs>